We can stop it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween. I'm so excited. It is finally Halloween. And in honor of Halloween, we are doing another mukbang. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a mukbang, so I'm really, really excited to be getting back into them. For today's mukbang, we have some really exciting stuff. So I made this little ghost quesadilla thing. I don't know if you can see his two eyes in his mouth. It's supposed to be like a garlic bread flavored quesadilla. I'm super excited. I have some vegan ranch and some vegan guacamole to eat with it. And then I made this cookie pizza situation. I used to make cookie pizzas like this all the time before I was vegan with my friends. And I called them pizookies. So this is kind of like a pizookie, but it's more like a cookie pizza. Anyway, super excited for that. And then to drink, I have some lemonade that I added activated charcoal to. So it's black. Happy Halloween, guys. <laughs> Also, in honor of Halloween, I am going to be diving into a conspiracy theory today. Today's conspiracy theory is going to be a little bit dark and sad. So if you are a sensitive person, please take care and either click off this video or put it on mute or something. Because I just, I want you to take care of yourself. So yeah, but before I get into the conspiracy theory... I'm gonna start eating and I'm gonna start with this because it looks so good. I was gonna cut it and try to eat it like a pizza, but I don't think it's gonna work. So I have a spoon. I'm kind of just gonna go for it. So it's a regular cookie base. And then I added Vego spread on top and vegan M&Ms on top as well. Peanut M&Ms. Oh, and I added <laughs> vegan peanut butter cups on the inside. I'm so excited. I think there's a peanut butter cup in this bite. Also, I'm wearing black lipstick, which I can guarantee you is not going to stay on for the majority of this video. So, I'll try my best. <laughs> This is a 10 out of 10. The peanut M&M's on top melted because it's still warm. This is so good. Wow, this is amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so the conspiracy that I'm talking about today has to do with Disneyland. Disneyland, don't sue me. These are all speculations, okay? <laughs> Even if you did sue me, you wouldn't get anything out of it. <laughs> Basically, what I'm going to be talking about is the conspiracy that no one dies at Disneyland. So, we all know Disneyland, right? And if you don't, I don't know what planet you're living on, but Disneyland, also known as the happiest place on earth, is really just a magical place because apparently no one has ever died there. At least that's what they claim. So, like I said, Disneyland, the happiest place on earth, Disney is pretty adamant about keeping it that way. So, dying at Disneyland is really not an option.
Mm. Okay, so Disneyland has many characters that have either experienced loss in their family or don't have parents, have lost their parents, etc. They've experienced death in some way, shape, or form, or lost someone in their life. This creates a sense of connection for many people who have lost people in their life. It may make them feel like they have someone that they can relate to, which is super meaningful to them because they have someone that they almost feel like is a friend who's gone through the same thing as them. Even though they're just characters, it still creates this meaningful connection. So, Disneyland, containing all of the fun characters from all the Disney movies, is a very meaningful place for a lot of people. Many people want their ashes spread in a meaningful place. Some people do it at the ocean or a place that holds a lot of memories for them. And for a lot of people, that is Disneyland. <laughs> Wow, this is just very, very sweet. <laughs> Many sources say that upon discussing with park custodians, they have concluded that people are caught monthly trying to spread their ashes at Disneyland. And those are just the people that get caught. So that's not good because that's illegal. That just goes to show how many people are trying to spread their ashes at Disneyland because it is so meaningful to them. Which, this isn't a part of the conspiracy, but I believe that's part of the reason why some people believe that it's haunted because a lot of remains, I guess, in some way, shape, or form are there, so. <laughs> So I just decided to take my lipstick off because it was actually kind of getting everywhere and it was very stressful so I just decided to take it off. Yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut into this quesadilla now. Sorry, ghosty. Just cutting right into his face. Okay, I'm so excited. I actually wasn't originally planning on making quesadillas but I was kind of craving them. So, ooh, okay. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Yum. So something that kind of puzzles me 
is the fact that there are so many rides and mechanics and such at Disneyland and especially with all of the people, millions and millions of people coming into Disneyland all the time for over 60 years. How has no one officially died at Disney? Especially with all of the room for human error, I don't understand how no one has died. We'll get into it. I already know. I just I'm trying to tell a story, guys. I'm trying to keep it suspenseful. Mm. So, there is in fact a company policy that no one is actually allowed to die on Disneyland property. In fact, they don't even allow ambulances on Disneyland property. I assume this is to ensure that the guests don't worry about anything really to maintain their happiest place on earth slogan. Which is honestly uh, very sick to me, but okay. Um, the victims that actually get injured at Disney, their bodies must be removed from Disney's grounds before being declared dead. So the paramedics are told to wait to declare this victim dead until they are off Disneyland's grounds. So if a person actually ends up passing away on Disneyland grounds, the paramedics are still told to wait to declare them dead after they've died. So yeah, no one dies at Disney. However, they may claim that no one dies at Disney, but we all know that's not the case. I've kind of alluded to that fact already. Um, so I'm going to now share some cases of people who have unfortunately passed away at Disneyland. So the first case happened in 1974. An 18-year-old cast member who worked at Disneyland, her name was Deborah Stone and she was crushed by the America Sings stage. And this case is particularly frightening to me, not because of the fact that she passed away, but because when you search up Deborah Stone, one of the top related searches is Deborah Stone death video. That just goes to show you how adamant people are about finding concrete evidence that someone has actually died at Disney. That they would they would go as far as to find a video footage of somebody dying. I just it makes me so sad to hear about people dying. I can't even fathom wanting to see it, you know? I don't know. And then in 1984, a plane actually crashed 
in the Epcot parking lot, which is near the United Kingdom, I'm pretty sure. And this killed three people. That just makes me so sad. And honestly, like, how does that even happen? Where was the plane going? Straight to Disneyland. They just wanted to die happy, I guess. <laughs> and then the following year, this one makes me really sad, a seven-year-old girl was in the parking lot. I'm pretty sure she was on like a school trip and she ended up getting crushed by a bus in the parking lot and died. That just makes me so sad. She was seven years old. So yeah, I I told you guys this was a sad one. Mmm. So good. It's also really sad because many people have um, attempted to end their life and have succeeded at Disneyland. And just a lot of irresponsibility have occurred at Disneyland, so of course there's going to be injuries, if not fatalities, as a result of that. And there have been plenty of cases where workers just were not trained correctly. And so many people have suffered injuries and things like that due to co-workers not being trained properly. For example, in 1998, a man by the name of Luan Fee Dawson, I think that's how you pronounce it, he was a 33-year-old man, and he was there on Christmas Eve with his wife, and they were near an 84-foot tall ship, and one of the metal cleats from the ship that supposedly had been dented, it fell free from the ship due to a worker who wasn't trained correctly on the safety of the ship or something like that, and so it hit Mr. Dawson, and he ended up passing away. Which, it's really sad because the Colorado ship or whatever it was, was said to be one of the most docile rides at the park. So, of course that's the one that ends up killing someone. But that's not all. Ugh, this one really just baffles my mind. Preceding the death of uh, Luan Fee Dawson, the park supposedly failed to call the police and then proceeded to clean up the incident, at least began to clean up the, the mess themselves. And then after like four-ish hours, then police arrived at the scene. That just makes me so mad. That's so irresponsible. And I actually heard somewhere that this case was one of the cases that Disneyland tried to sweep under the rug or um, cover up. I don't know for sure. I just heard that somewhere. But the fact that there's even conspiracy around the fact that they are attempting to hide deaths that have happened. Yeah, really a happy place. Makes me want to go there. So once a person is injured, i.e. dead, they are then transported to the nearest hospital where, like I said earlier, then they are pronounced dead. Or they are pronounced dead on the way to the hospital at least once they're off the Disneyland property. <laughs> there we go. So, 
So those are just a few of the very many deaths at Disney, but um, there are also a few involving some of the rides at Disney. I just didn't include them because they're more of the more well-known ones. You can just look them up on YouTube. They have to do with more of the more crazy rides, which makes sense that people would get injured on those ones. But like I said, there are so many deaths at Disney. There's even this website. I don't think it's Disneyland's because that would kind of just be counterintuitive. But there's this website that you can go to. It's called like the Disney Death Tour website or something. And it shows all of the deaths at Disney. Like it gives you a tour of where the person died and how they died. I don't understand why people would make something like that. I mean, people are curious, I get it, but it's just so sad. Like, I don't think that that's something that you should just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a big baby and too sensitive about everything. Another thing, apparently at Disneyland, they're not allowed to use the term memorial. They're not allowed to hold memorials for people. So I think there's an area where there are a bunch of plaques on the ground that have people's names on it who have passed away, but they just have the person's name. They can't say in memory of or something like that. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> So, of course, lawsuits have been filed in the past against Disneyland, um, wrongful death lawsuits and things like that. In some cases, Disney even denied any allegations against them because they claimed that it was the guest's negligence. Which, yeah, I kind of get, but at the same time, still suspicious, you know? So is all of this denial and avoidance of death on the premises of Disney, is it all so they can maintain their happiest place on earth mantra? Or is it so they don't get sued any further? <laughs> Maybe both? I don't know. I'm just perplexed that this day and age, Disney's still able to maintain that no one has died at Disney. Especially with the intense grasp that social media has today, you'd think that there would be more showing up on social media and more things being caught. Just goes to show Disney's efficiency and determination to keeping their slate clean. Which I know it kind of doesn't make sense because I'm saying that they've been able to maintain that no one has died at Disney and then I'm over here just spouting all of these people who have died at Disney. <laughs> all the people I've mentioned, like I said, they have died at Disney, but they haven't died at Disney because they were declared dead off premises. So still to this day, no one has died at Disney. It's just insane to me. Disney really just has so much control over everything. I mean, I can't even imagine working there. Like, there are probably just so many secrets that you have to keep, and I don't even know. But I digress. That's pretty much the end of the conspiracy. If you guys have any thoughts, let me know down below. I just found this so interesting, and I wanted to do so much research on it, and I decided why not share it with you guys for Halloween perfect timing. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to take one more bite of this and then I'm going to be done. Where's the best bite, guys? 
I'm thinking right here. It just looks bomb. Plus we got that fat, oh, M&M. <laughs> All right, you guys, last bite. Alright you guys, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. There are a lot more cases, unfortunately. I just didn't want to get into all of them today. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. This was really fun. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!